how to print a booklet in PDF. Welcome back to the official PDF Element YouTube channel. I'm George, and in this video, we'll explore how to convert documents into booklets, breaking them down into small and easy to read pages. So if you're ready, let's dive in. What you're seeing on the screen is the user manual for PDF Element 10. Although it's concise, printing it would yield an eight page document, potentially discouraging readers who might perceive it as extensive and tedious. Do you realize the risk of potential customers giving up on trying your product simply because the manual has too many pages? Booklets are distinguished by their unique design, which maximizes the user space on a sheet of paper by dividing it into two or four parts. This technique not only optimizes the available space, but also allows for information to be placed on the back of the pages to further utilize each page's space. Then, these sections are then folded and stacked on top of each other, creating the structure similar to a book. This characteristic makes them especially useful in situations where a large amount of information needs to be presented in a concise format that won't deter potential readers by burying them in mountains of text. Pretty cool, isn't it? But how difficult is it to create these booklets? Well, PDF Element has two printing modes that allow us to convert our documents into booklets within seconds. The first one is the multiple printing mode, which allows us to print the content of multiple pages on a single sheet making it a perfect option for creating booklets. The first thing we need to do is decide on the size we want for our booklet. There are at least three sizes we can choose from, dividing our sheet into eight fractions, four or two. The answer to this question will depend on the content we need to represent. When we opt for the booklet format, we can make use of both the front and back of the sheet. So it's essential to remember that, regardless of the option we choose, we'll get two sides for each section, 16 if we divide the page into eight parts, eight if we divide the page into four parts, and four if we divide it into two parts. To clearly illustrate our goal, I'll use an eight page document. We'll start by opening the printing tool of PDF Element, which is located in this top left corner of the screen. This will open a window like this one, where we can adjust printing preferences, along with a preview area that will allow us to see how our document will look when printed. At the bottom of the settings panel, we'll need to expand the advanced settings menu and select the multiple printing mode. Here is where the magic begins. The first thing we need to do is enter the number of fractions into which we decided to divide our sheets, four in this case. As soon as we do this, we'll be able to see how our document will look in the preview area. But although this looks good, this is where we'll need to make some tweaks. What you see on the screen is the template we need to follow to organize our pages. In blue, it shows the page number that we should place on the front, while in gray, it shows what we should place on the back of the page. To make this possible, we'll use the order shown in the preview area as a reference and compare it with the template to identify the order and orientation in which we should organize our pages. Fortunately, we can easily achieve this with one of the tools from the Organize tab. Once we have our pages in the correct order and orientation, it's time to print our document. Just remember to check the Manually Print on Both Sides option in our Print Preferences window. This allows us to rotate the sheets during printing to distribute our content on both sides of each sheet. And there you go. Now all that's left is to make a couple of cuts on our sheet so that our booklet looks perfect. Now, if you need a larger booklet where you split your pages into two fractions, you'll love the booklet printing mode. Just like the previous printing mode, this printing mode is accessible through PDF Elements printing tool. All you have to do is select the both sides option from the booklet subset menu, set a page range from one to two per sheet and check the auto rotate and auto center boxes. Just like with the previous printing method, we need to keep the manually print on both sides option checked so we can rotate the pages while printing to utilize both sides of our sheets. With just these few adjustments, PDF Element will automatically rearrange the pages. When we print our document, all we need to do is fold the pages in half in the same order that they come out of the printer. Amazing, don't you think? Now, let's consider a more complex scenario. What would happen if you had to generate multiple booklets at the same time? Actually, this is more common than you might think, especially when creating user manuals for products targeted at people from different countries who speak different languages. Well, 
Don't worry, PDF Element has you covered. In the start page, you'll find the Batch PDFs tool. This tool allows you to manage multiple similar processes at once, which is perfect for these kinds of situations. All you have to do is drag all the documents you want to convert into booklets into this window and use the panel on the right to set the printing mode to booklet. In just a few seconds, we successfully handled printing multiple booklets at once. Thanks to PDF Elements booklet printing mode, converting any document into a booklet is a breeze. So why not give it a try and see for yourself? You can find the link to the official PDF Element website in the video description to download for free and start creating your own booklets today. Thank you for staying with me until the end of this video. If this video was helpful to you, I'd appreciate it if you could like this video and subscribe to this channel. I'll continue bringing you many more videos with tips and tricks to make your work easier. You can also take a look at the rest of the videos on this channel. There you will find more videos just like this. Have a great day and see you next time.